Designer Beginners Tutorials Lesson 3 Shapes Part 3 How to 1. Understand how the gradient tool works 2. Using gradient on several shapes 3. Get a gradient on a border using the switch tool 4. Using the vertical curve with the null tool and 5. Using the point transform tool Hello, this is Tony, Tony's Music and the Administrator of Doodly and Toonly PNGs. Welcome to the Beginner's Tutorial for Affinity Designer Lesson 3 Shapes Part 3. I've just put on an A4 sheet in Landscape and I'm going straight to the toolbars to the rectangular tool and I'll drag that on. Then I'm going to add a circular tool and drag that on and I'm going to get a polygon tool and drag that on all right I just stretch that across a bit all right now what I'm going to do now is I'm going to say if you go to select menu you can click select all on there like that and it'll select them if you need to deselect them you go to select tool uh, menu deselect like that you can also use the move tool and click an area on the board and drag across all the tools that you want to select and then loose the mouse button right once you've done that they've selected all the tools that you wanted or the shapes or whatever and i'm going to use the gradient tool to adjust their colors in the way that I want to and I've, what I've done is dragged it from the left hand side down to the bottom right and what I'm going to do is I'm going to click different areas on the bar that's the gradient fill tool bar and make extra circles on it A few right and then I'm going to oh I'm going to click that again sorry Click on the bottom circle so I can change the colour to yellow. And I'm going to click on the second one, change that to green. Next one, now the top one I'm going to change to blue. And this one I want to change to yellow. Right, so there you go. Right now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag this one up a little bit so you can see the changes in the colours and what happens with them. Right? As you can see, where these, oh God, it's done that again. Where the sliders are, that is the change between two colours. Right, it's like the green and the yellow. Where the nod, nodes are, that is the centre of a particular colour. Right, so you've got the edges of two colours, the centre of a colour edges of the two colours, whoops, edges of the two colours there and the centre of the colour, right? So that's what you get with the, the gradients, just got to watch out for that when it does that, very temperamental these things are, but as you can see it's always the horizontal to the actual bar where the, the colours appear, right? So whatever's horizontal to that particular thing whether it's um, one of the nodes or one of the sliders whatever's there the horizontal will all be changed from that position okay all right so that's that next if you wanted to you could now change these round so that their middles would be black like the border and the border would be these colors to do that, what we need to do is we click on the move tool, then we go over to the colour wheel and you click on not the fill, not the border fill, but this little arrow thing at the top. That's the switch tool, it switches the border with the fill. Right, so that's what happens. So you can do that. Right. Now you've done that, if you wanted to add another fill. Uh, gradient fill you could by clicking on the gradient fill and then taking across whichever way you wanted to and 
changing the colours to what you want. Um, adding nodules here and there if you want to. Um, change that to white there maybe. So we could go white there. And this one, that's a dark colour. And then we could have blue there or something. Or pink even. Change that to pink. And put that one way up there. Like that. Right, so we go bring that across. As you can see, you've got a dark colour there, a light colour there, and a red colour there. So we could bring the red in. But as you can see, the border itself is still the same colour that it was before, because it's on a different. It was on a different gradient, and you can't change the gradient of it without doing the switch. That's the thing, right? Okay. So now. If you want to get rid of these nodes that are in the middle or the end ones either one it doesn't matter which if you if you want to get rid of one all you do is you do you go back on them there uh, you click on the actual circle that you want to get rid of the node like that, and then you do either backspace or you can click on the circle and do delete and that'll get rid of them so if you want to do that, you can do that. Okay. And then I'm just going to delete that now. So I've deleted all them. Let's just get the circle on. There. And click on full colour there for that. Now I'm going to switch that. Change that to blue. Or, yeah, I just change it to blue. That's it. Oh, it's just one colour then. Eh? One proper colour. And uh, I'm going to change the stroke to anything so you've only got a little bit of red right that's the circle i'm going to get the polygon back on again because i need to show you something with that i'm going to show you the polygon thing first if you go on the polygon right so it's selected if you look up here it'll tell you what it is the polygon it gives you the fill color the stroke color how big the stroke color is 2.8.2.8 eight point exactly and then it gives you the sides so if you want to change the size from five to more you can click on it and just type it in and press enter or you can click on this arrow down here and it'll use the slider to increase or decrease the amount of sides you have i would just click on that really and do that i would so but i mean now it's up to you if you want to be adventurous you could do the slider um the curve this curve what this does is it curves the sides of the polygon according to which way you want to go if you want to go outwards you take it back that way maybe oops i'm going to take selected all right so you've got to have it selected first and then you do that and it curves it down or curves it up so it's more like a circle now but you could have it slightly and then slightly on down like that so it'd be like a little star so you can do that either way that's supposed to smooth the points a bit but it's, it's, it's barely noticeable unless you go right in i think so that's what that does okay so i'm just gonna delete that now or we'll cut it let's just cut that a uh, circle we're going to use the circle for convert to curves so i'm just going to click on convert to curves now we go over here to the null tool and then as you can see you've got these circular nodes if you grab all the one now i've got the node tool on that's the node tool i've got on you can pull it down pull it up pull it anywhere you want right you've got these two handles either side which change the curve on the line that it's on to whichever way you want it to go so you can twist it completely around and stuff like that you know like an eight like that or something and you can do all sorts of things with these things and you've got handles on every node you could also add your own nodes by just clicking on a line and doing that right 
and then you can swing it round over. Now that's nearly a shape of a face, isn't it? I suppose. Of the bloke who's a bit snooty, maybe. Right. Um, so that's using the node tools and using the cover to curve. Right. There is also another tool here which is called the point transform tool. You click on that and move it. You can move it move it up up there say. Uh, you click on a point and you can try oops, I mean you click on the point then drag it from the point and it will move around that particular point there. Wherever you put the your centre there, that point move that further out this way and then draw it there move around that area instead so just transform from around that particular point wherever you put it so put it down there try this now there you go see so it might be useful for something but uh, there you go that's what that one does uh, what else is that trying to think now um, I think we've covered everything on that really so um, if there's one thing I've got to say is I really enjoyed doing these lessons for you if you do like them please let me know what you think of them um, I hope they're useful to you and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial this time um, Please like and subscribe to Tony's Music and have a great day and stay safe. Thank you.